Do you know how all the late night hosts are working from home now? Mm-hmm. Like just like everybody else is. So they're doing something where they're like they're sitting at a camera and then they interview whatever famous celebrity is on, just sort of one on one. Like you know, like a Zoom meeting, mm-hmm. except <laughs> except it's broadcast to the world. Right. So Lisa Kudrow from Friends, who played Phoebe, was on Jimmy Kimmel. And you know, you think at this point there's nothing you don't know about these people, especially when it comes to friends and everything there. Lisa Kudrow revealed something about herself on the set of Friends that was kind of surprising. Every single day when she left work, security would come to her car and check her car to make sure she didn't steal anything. Really? So she's on Jimmy Kimmel and he's like, well, did you ever get anything? And she's like, well, yeah, I do have this one clock. And she explains how she ended up with the clock that was one of the it was a cookie jar clock that was on the set of Friends. And it's like sitting behind her as she's doing this interview. So she ex- <laughs> she explains how she ended up with it. Do you see that cookie time? That was in Monica and Rachel's apartment. <laughs> Who gave it to you? Matthew Perry. Well, how is it Matthew Perry going to get it? That's not his either. Right. So he he stole it from the set to give to her. <laughs> she took it. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. And I mean, I, we were laughing hysterically and crying because it was the, the end. But um, it's funny to us because do you want to hear why? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, OK, so we're shooting a scene years before we were finished. And um, I, my line was, "Ooh, I'm ooh, I better get going. Like, ooh, I'm late. I better get going. Except. I didn't have a watch, and we were shooting it. It was too late when I realized I don't have a watch. Watch, how do I know, ooh, I have to get going? And so I just, as the words were coming out, I went, oh, good, there's a clock. I gestured to that and said, <laughs> ooh, look at the time. I got to get going. Good <laughs> done shooting, and Matthew said, did you point to the cookie jar and say, look at the time? <laughs> You made that joke about six times funnier by doing that. (laughs) And then Matthew gave you a gift that didn't actually belong to him, which are really the best gifts to give. (laughs) I know. I know. I think the first thing I asked was, this is so nice. Did you get permission? Well, Joey took the, what do you call that, the doodle board that was on the back of his door. He has that. So, oh, right, right. Yeah, they would write stuff on there. Yeah, like the uh, right that uh, white erase board. Right. So every day there would be something new on the board. So he says that somebody gave it to him. <laughs> <laughs> it was one of the key grips that would change it every day uh-huh. to whatever would correspond with the with the episode. And he said that key grip gave him that board and he took it. So I wonder how many things are out there. You know, like that big dog, the white dog. Where is that? Yes. Oh, my God. And more importantly, where is that dog now? And can we find it on American Pickers? Uh, The chairs that Joey and Chandler had, where are those? Yeah, I wonder how much of that stuff they actually took home and they own because, you know, it's memories or it's something special. I would keep like one memento. I mean, if I had friends money, I don't think that the problem with that apartment is there's nothing in there I'd want in my new place. Like I'm, I, if, I was a, if I was a character on Friends, I have too much money to want a couch like that. You know what I mean? But I would want like one thing off the set that I would keep somewhere because if it wasn't for that, I wouldn't have all this money. Yeah, where's the pivot couch? Right. Here we go. Pivot. 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 Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Oh, where's the canoe? That was, remember when they didn't have any furniture and they lived in a, they sat in a canoe? Right. Well, they got it because Joey made a huge wooden thing and they traded it to a guy for the canoe. So somebody right. has that canoe. So I bet that canoe is in some warehouse somewhere. Somewhere, yeah. It's so funny how, like, in radio, we get, like, a T-shirt or a hat or something with the station logo on it, and that's enough of a memory. I don't know how you feel about it, but for me, that's enough of a memorabilia thing, and I have a drawer that I just shove all that stuff in, Mm -hmm. like, from every station I've ever worked for, that kind of thing. But for the most part, when I leave a station, I don't want anything from there. Right. I have a box with all the station T-shirts, hats, bumper stickers, 
things like that. And I take it out every now and then. I'll take a photo of it and put it on Facebook. I'll go, ooh, look what I've... And then I'll put it back in the box and then put it back in the attic and never look at it But it's stuff it you're again. allowed to have. It's stuff that they're, they're giving away to listeners anyway. It's not like you took a chair home. <laughs> that's, the weird, <laughs> like, that's the weird thing about about movie sets, you know, because the thing is, you know, from working on um, Confessions of a Teen Idol, the set that they built for that, once the show was over, they just tore the set down and most of that stuff either got thrown out or sold or given away. So when you work on a TV set, it's just there just for the TV set. So once the show is, you know, radio station just keeps going like we come and go and it doesn't matter. They still need those chairs. Mm -hmm. But um, like Confessions of a Teen Idol, the show I did on VH1, they had all this stuff that they bought just for that show. So when I left, um, people there were like, do you want this? Do you want that? They were like handing out stuff like it was party favors. Right. You know, if you don't get it, it's next to Joey's canoe. It's like, no, thank you. I don't want Scott Bayo's T-shirt. <laughs> next to Superman's cape <laughs> right. and the time machine. <laughs> <laughs> it's so weird. But like just that whole, I guess I'm not very nostalgic, you know, so I just don't want anything from anywhere. Like I just don't want, for me, it's just clutter. Mm -hmm. You know, I took a photograph. I got that. Yeah, I, and there's stations that I was at, I didn't even take a photograph. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> Nobody really believes that I actually work there because uh, <laughs> there's nothing that I have to prove it.